Hello everybody. Today I'll be teaching you how to make sour sap tea in different languages. It's called different things. All I know is the word sour sap because that's the word that we use in North America. These are how the sour sap leaves look. I sell them on eBay. They're $1.50 for 10. Very cheap. And also sour sap leaves has many, many benefits. It promotes healthy skin. It treats cancer. Treats gout, blood disorders, sleepiness, boost immunity, fighting infections, and treating diabetes. And also is very, very good after pregnancy, after you give birth to that little bundle of joy miracle. Um, my grandmother also did say, some of the ladies in Haiti, she used to do this also. They will stuff leaves in their bras and panties for healing purposes after they have babies or just... If you're a regular, like, 19-year-old girl that doesn't have any babies at all and you want some healing after your period, not every day, but sometimes. So starting off, you have to boil some hot water. You do not want to put the leaves in the hot water. Reason why? It will burn out the medicine, and we don't want that. So we will boil the water, and we put the leaves in after. And I'll also be posting my website down below so you can order it off of there also. And any questions about sour sop, leaves, and or the fruit, because I will be showing you how to make the drink too out of the fruit. It tastes very, very good, and I highly recommend to make that drink, and it's very good for you. So, give me a second. I will be right back. All right, we're boiling. Y'all, let it boil for a few more minutes, because I want it to be a complete boil. I'm sorry, my throat kind of hurts. So I'm talking a little weird, but we're getting there. And these these leaves smell so good. They smell so so good. Oh my god! My dad likes to drink it at night because he said it makes him fall asleep better. I don't drink it because I like to stay up. Now, if I had a reason to go to sleep on time, then yes, of course I would drink it. Especially when I'm sick, I, I drink it. But for now, I work. I have to study, so I don't drink it. But this is very, very helpful. So, <clears throat> unfortunately, I had to boil out this pot because all my pots are scratched up. And it's very bad for the chemicals to seep inside. But now, since it's at a nice boil that I like, personally, we're going to put in the leaves. Now, for making the tea from one person, I would recommend like one cup or two to three leaves. How my dad does it, he does about two cups of water and four leaves. And we turn it off and just let it cook. Well, not cook, but like sit. And we bring down out all the nutrients. Now I'm making this for a bath, that's why I put so many leaves in there and have so much water. Alright, so now it's starting to get a little brown. As soon as it get like a, a darker brown, that's when it's ready and that's all you do. That's how you make sour sop tea. Alright. Smush it down to the bottom. And there we go. Alright, so you, everybody, have a nice day.